Um, but over the weekend, I know that we had some power outages and because of the snow. So we actually lost a ton of plants. Like, it was sad. So yeah, these plants, they survived. Um, ooh, yeah, this one is gonna go. I tried to like just clip off some of the ones that were pretty bad and bring them in here and see what would happen. But see, they're just stressed already. Like the, this one is pretty bad here, this mosaica. <sighs> and this um, Peru Monstera. That, I mean, I think it looks better on camera. <laughs> Definitely looks more green than brown. It's more brown in real life. But yeah, this is freaking sad. Yeah, see that table is all empty. I mean, these, these are the only plants that survived out of all the ones that we had in the greenhouse. But luckily this week we got big shipment in. Um, all these pallets here so there's this one that has some calathea we lost all of these obviously i mean we lost so much it was insane so i mean there's some stuff here um that we had that we lost and that's nice that we now have some <laughs> um we lost every single like wick and grow plants uh wick and grow what i mean by that are <clears throat> well these right here they're labeled wick and grow um in these small pots here so i'm sorry we didn't lose all of them all of them except for this little row of ivy and ferns they're the only things that survived and i had what um three yeah three racks of these three racks filled with wick and grows and they all died except for this yeah so it was pretty devastating coming into work and just like oh, <laughs> this is not happening to me yeah so we got this huge pallet right here it's actually taller than me uh filled with calathea dotties i see and alocasia nice i love co Alocasias. They're my new favorite plant, so I'm excited to open that one up. Milliads. I don't know. Orchids. Oh, we got some more orchids. I see that. Nice. Alright, so. We got this palette right here with the wick and grows and some other plants tossed in. And then this large box right here filled with more, um, more of like the larger plants. So I think I'm gonna do is just um, unwrap all these boxes and get them into the position where they should be. The interesting thing is, is I already know <laughs> that these plants are not gonna fit on these two measly tables that I have out here. Um, I cannot put, the only ones that I could put inside the greenhouse are the palms because the palms seem to really hold up to the um, extreme cold. So obviously we don't want to put anything else in there <laughs> for fear that we're going to lose more inventory and it just makes sense. So, but um, I did already put out some palms way back there by the front entrance. They have like a sea of green there. So I think I could actually put some more of these larger plants there because I'm going to run out of room obviously. So. This is the Calathea. Look at this. This is so pretty. And look at dark burgundy foliage underneath. So pretty.
believe I got all these beautiful calatheas out of the one box. So I'm just gonna place it on the one table here. Tight squeeze, tight squeeze. Ooh. There we go. I think I'm gonna put them right behind these hurricane friends. lovely already. This one's really full. Love it. I think I might get one of these. Ah, it's so hard working at a plant shop. This is a Deffenbachia right here. Love the greens. And this is also a Sansevieria that came in. I really like the pattern to this. I also like that mint green color that's on here. Contrast with the dark green. So pretty. Like I could just have a wall of this and I would be happy. <laughs> uh, in fact, I think I'm actually going to put these up with these um, Majesty Palms up front there. I have some Deckenbachias up there as well, so I'm gonna add some uh, contrast via the form of the plant and also the color too, so it'll look pretty. Um, right here, there's the palms, there's this Deckenbachia, and I'm actually just going to put these behind the Deckenbachias. I'm very happy with how this turned out. Like the contrast of the textures, the palm, the stiff. Um, looks good, right? Are those the different bakias? They are. They are. They are different bakias, yeah. And I got this whole other area over here to do too. I'll give it to you on clearance. You want it? You want it today? Yeah. Okay, here. Right, 
these Dracenia's mascara cane. Um, we actually lost all the ones in the greenhouse when we had the uh, freezing temps in there. And so I'm glad we got a few in. And I have some room. I'm gonna put, uh, I think, some small figs that came in right in the front here. Again, it will contrast with the leaves. Like you have these massive green palms and you have this like thick leaf with the strappy um, colors in the uh, mass cane. And then down below, I'll put uh, figs which have like that dark green, very bold wide leaf. unboxing like two pallets. I still have one more left which is kind of back there if you could see it and um, I'm gonna save that for tomorrow but tonight I'm just going to finish telling you guys what was unboxed, give you the full Monty on those and um, yeah I'll just do that. Hi can I help you with anything? No. creeping on your video. <laughs> He's not a creep. That's my boyfriend. He may not watch my videos, but at least he oh. he, 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 he photo bombs when necessary. Or video bombs. <laughs> on demand. <laughs> Alright, so first we have these uh, nest bird's nest ferns. So, the, I don't know. They're nothing like too stunning, but they have like that um, very bold leaf. It is just one single color, except for like the veining underneath. It's like a brown reddish to it. So that adds some interest and also it's like, like roughly on the edges. Uh, we have some more of these peace lilies. And you know what? Thank goodness we got some in because we lost all of them before. So with the freeze. So we got some of those in. Got a lot of orchids. Lots of purples and whites. I know we have like six more. Um, packets of orchids in that palette way back there. Uh, I'm, again, I'm just doing that one tomorrow. Some dress, um, Dracaena or Defenbachia. This is Dracaena here, the mass cane, which we lost all of these too. So it's nice that we got like some type of um, inventory back in. And let me just go over here. So for the hanging baskets, this looks like a pepperoni. They call it a Pili Chinese money plant. It's kind of cute, right? I like it. I might, I might end up getting that. Some ferns over there. Some uh, pothos. Scandapsis, as it's called. Oh, and somebody took that pink one. We had a um, pink, what is this called? An arrow, like an arrowhead plant, but it was pink. We only had one come in and it is now gone. But we also have like these light green ones here. And this is like what survived earlier. This ivy and the ferns are pretty much all that survived for the Wiccan groves. These are usually filled with water and we put the plants in, in here and then they suck up the water via the string, right? Well, <laughs> in the greenhouse, it all froze over. And these are the only things that survived. Like this whole thing was an ice cube. These are some new Wiccan grow plants that are coming through. This actually fell off of a um, <laughs> one of the plants up here. And I noticed, all right, well, anyway, we got this and there's some roots on the bottom. So I'm just gonna take it home and put it in some soil and see what happens. So it fell off of the plants here. This is called a pink wave. And it actually has, I mean, there there are blooms on it. It's pretty insignificant, but let me see if I could focus on one. Show you guys what that looks like. Ah, 
Yeah, they just have these little blooms on them that are white with uh, pink striping. They're pretty insignificant. Now I can imagine if the whole thing was like all in bloom at once, but it's not. <sighs> Some neat terraniums. I went over that in the last video, so I don't want to do it a whole bunch more. Some more ferns. Oh, I can't speak. And look at these, these sexy beasts. <laughs> these alocasias here. This is like the traditional alocasia. Um, everybody kind of has it, the poly alocasia. But look when it's unraveling, it has like that dark foliage underneath. And also when it's unraveling. And then you have this mint green veining with this dark green contrast and it's like it feels like a rubber almost or a plastic kind of interesting i love alocasias they're my new favorite house plant some more defenbachias this is really pretty these are pretty calatheas which we lost all our calatheas so it's nice to get some more in and some hurricane ferns and this is like more and more tropical um, bromeliads here we got some new ones look at that vibrant color and these are neat too these are like the smaller ones we never had the small ones in so it's definitely something new and then this guy right here he's gonna be blooming in yellow so that's gonna be like a really cool contrast um, some more bromeliads back there some nice foliage contrast. These are pretty popular too, the yellow blooms. And then over on this side, I have more like the ceramic pots on here. The um, Peru monster is really nice. This did su suffer from uh, the damage though, so. But I didn't want to throw them all away and I tried to grab the ones that were sellable. And then there's the Dotty Calathea here. And this is the palette I have for tomorrow. So, if you guys like watching, oops. All right, and look at these pothos we have here. This is like the neon pothos, so bright, so cool. And then we also have the queen marble pothos here. Yeah, I love that variegation. Love it, love it, love it. So, all right, everyone. So if you like the video, please subscribe because I'm definitely going to be doing more videos in silos over the winter, um, along with other house plants that I have at home and, and whatnot. And give it a like. And thank you for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.